first Summit Council Assembly was held at World Summit 2020, bringing together 120 current and former heads of state and some 7,000 delegates representing all walks of life from as many as 170 countries. The members of the head table will take their seats. Current heads of state, we're so delighted that his Excellency, the Prime Minister of Cambodia, is with us. The Prime Minister of Niger, <laughs> Vice President Myanmar, Vice President of the Philippines, Vice President of the Marshall Islands, former Prime Minister Gilani, His Excellency, Ambassador Ban Ki moon. Eighth Secretary General of the United Nations, His Excellency Ban Ki moon. Please welcome the former Secretary General of the United Nations, His Excellency Ban. Thank you for your warm introduction, Dr. Hak Han, Excellencies, current and former heads of state and government, ministers, distinguished leaders, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I'd like to cordially welcome you all to World Summit 2020. The theme of this timely summit is realizing world peace and the reunification of Korean Peninsula through independence, mutual prosperity, and universal values. I thank over the 5,000 eminent leaders from 171 countries representing all sectors of society, including 150 current and former heads of state and government, as well as speakers of the parliament, parliamentarians, and ministers who have gathered here. The fact that despite the coronavirus spreading around the world, so many leaders are here means that we are all committed to peace, harmony, and prosperity and reconciliation among the people. Thank you for your coming from afar. Thank you. Participating present and former heads of state put aside their national interest and pooled their experience and knowledge of government administration and the wisdom thereby gained. Based on principles of interdependence, mutual prosperity and on universal values, they sought solutions to the major challenges many nations face, including territorial disputes, religious and racial conflicts, climate change. What do you know about bees? Tonga is the surviving monarchy in the South Pacific. In the Pacific, before the coming of civilization, we each had a monarch. Tonga is the only remaining monarch in the Pacific. In fact, we had never been colonized. Maybe that's why Tonga is still a surviving monarch and self-government. Never been at war. Coming to this conference here, and the theme is peace, security, and human development, I thought to myself, what do I have to take home with me after this meeting here? Universal Peace Federation maintains that any successful strategy for peace must take into account the spiritual dimension of all human identity, experience, and interaction. A world of lasting peace, a world in which people of all nationalities, ethnicities, races, 
causes and worldviews are called to live together in mutual respect, harmony. As the co-founder Dr. Moon described, the ideal world is one family under God. One family under God. And teaching by example says that the path to such a society is through leading a life of true love and living for the sake of others. As I mentioned, to have a meaningful participation in this international gathering, having peace as its central theme, I have to look at the spiritual dimension of my country's way of life and experience to see how to attain peace in the land. Peace, of course, is not the end of war, but to live in harmony with each other. To be able to live in harmony is to be able to interact with one another regardless of our differences. And we cannot do that without loving each other. And on that basis, we can then be able to live for the sake of others, a selfless love, not focusing on oneself, but on the welfare of others. In my country, we're still struggling regarding which form of government best serve our need. The Prime Minister and myself have a monthly audience with His Majesty. To me, this is an opportunity for us to consult with His Majesty as to how to bring our simple problem to bear. If all of us, His Majesty, the Prime Minister, and all those in power, to lead by example by living for the sake of others, we can definitely find ways to bring change to our country in peace and harmony. Love one another, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that those who may believe in him have eternal life. We all believe in God, and that is positive starting point. That God wants us to be one family under him and to live for the sake of others, and that is the only way peace can be realized. Thank you.